skip, skip. Why do they have so many turns? Uh, special. No, I just black magic. Ultima. I don't know if I showed off Ultima yet. I know I unlocked it at one point, but. There we go. That's Ultima. And that's how you beat... Uh... Or that's how you get Yuna's Overdrive. Pretty much matched out. Just put a... I think it's either Slayer or Warrior on. Uh... I want to put Waka's No Encounter back on. Waka's got too much shit. Yeah, I want to put No Encounter back on for sure. Um, I don't want to go down this path. I know I need to go back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost missed out. What the fuck am I thinking? I fucked up, guys. I apologize. This is my fault. I really do apologize. I've really fucked up here. If I'm going to do something right, I need to fucking save. Especially since I'm like right here and I did all that. I'd have to reload from the last save. And I'm not fighting Omega Weapon again. Fuck that. Although I did get the level 4 key spheres that I want, which will allow me to unlock a bunch of new stuff. I got 7 of them, so... I think that's almost all the level 4 key sphere locks I have left. So I might actually have enough just to be done with it all. And Kimari knows all his overdrives, so I don't have to worry about that trophy. Yeah, I'm blasting through some of these harder trophies. I got the Lightning Dancer one. That one's a... That was a pain in the ass to do. Oh! Wow, I'm dumb. I should have showed you guys how to do that. I'll show that next time. Or, if we have time after this... This is Dark Valfour. D what the hell? Yuna doesn't have a turn? I'll fix that. Haste on Yuna. On a side note, Valfour is very hard to hit. And that's what I mean. Super high evasion. However, you get Yuna's overdrive up and you grand summon your Jimbo. You have like about, I think it's like a 10% chance or some bullshit. It depends how good your uh, favorability is with your Jimbo and stuff. But I'm going to go for the Zomoto. If I don't get it, then I'll fight I'll fight Valfour fairly. But I don't want to waste a bunch of time fighting him when I don't have to. You want to know why? Because I don't give a shit. And there's Zomoto. If your Jimbo knocks, knocks his head up and down, that means you got it. And that will auto-kill... Any Dark Aeon. Any one of them. It'll also auto-kill Penance. Who is the toughest boss in the game. And you can one-shot him just like that little bitch. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think I was gonna get that, but I did. A regen shield and a Dark Matter. Stay away from the summoner! Yeah! You go, old lady. You're a bad man. That's right, bitch. Run. And now Bevel is cleared of the Dark Aeon. Note that uh, once you get access to the airship, all the Dark Aeons are available. So if you try to come back here to get the Jet Sphere, you will have to fight Dark Valfor. So there is also Jet Sphere here on that side. No, it's over here. I passed it. So we're going to watch that, take a look. Smallest heap of huts I ever seen. Now, that looks like a fine place to live. Hmm. Oren. My lord. 
When this is over, could you bring Yuna here? I want her to lead a life far away from this conflict. You have my word. I will bring her here. Thank you, Oren. You're a good friend. What are you guys doing? Let's go! I'm so hungry I could eat a shoe puff whole. <laughs> Sorry. Well, let's go then. On a side note, uh, there's an excellent Blitzball player. Let's see where she is. I think she's in this hut. She's pretty good. No. Somewhere around here, there's a really good Blitzball player that makes a good, uh, I believe it's a defender. She's a great defender, so if you're looking for a defender, I don't think she's in Waka's hut. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, this walk is hot. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to revert to some saves to get all the Albed primers. There should be a way to get them all. I haven't tested this theory out. I have a theory in work. If it works, then cool. If it doesn't, well, well. Yeah, here she is. Uh, she's got good endurance. Wow, her shot is actually better than Titus's is. She's got 10 block. Her capture is all right. Her attack is not bad, so. She makes an all right uh, Blitzball player. It's actually, actually, she might be a better. Actually, she might be a better shot. She might not be a defender. Yeah, actually, I think she's not a defender. Her attack. Is, actually, I would probably use her as a shooter if I didn't already. I'm done with Blitzball, so I don't need to do Blitzball anymore. But if I did need to do Blitzball, I'd probably use her. Then again, Brother's pretty good too. So Brother is a very excellent Blitzball player. Uh, what else do we got left? Um, 10 minutes. I guess I'll show off the last jet sphere in the area. Not the last jet sphere overall, but there's another one close by. Okay, I have no encounter on. Yeah, it, this was a good recording session. Took out Omega Weapon. I took out Dark Valfor. Unintentionally, I did it the way I wasn't going to, but oh well. Yeah, that's pretty much how I... I plan on doing my first attempt at the Dark Aeons. If it all works out, then I guess I'll take out every Dark Aeon like that. But yeah, the uh, for the Dark Aeons, they have a level 5 resistance to the Zalmodo, which basically means the chance of it working on a Dark Aeon is pretty low. So, keep that in mind. And Dark Valfor has about, I think, uh, 1.3 to 1.4 million HP. So you have to hit it about, if you're maxed out, you have to hit it about, I'd say 15 times. You're doing almost 100,000 damage, so you'd have to hit it about 14 or 15 times for it to die. For you to defeat it. So if you use quick hit and you have high enough accuracy, there you go. You also need a good amount of luck too. Which, I haven't gotten my stats high enough to where I can grind for luck spheres, because the monster who drops them is outrageously... Thank you! Sorry about that. It's outrageously hard. Hard to beat. I haven't tried using the Zonmoto strategy on it, but it ain't looking good for that monster. That monster is a pain in the ass to beat. And I would need about... I think I would need about a hundred... I'd have to beat that monster about a hundred times to match out my luck. That's pretty sad. And then I'd have to get all the fortune spheres, which I'd have to kill a different monster about 400 times. Jesus, yeah, so we ride the boat here. Yeah, let's go. And we're going to kill like a port. And if we come in this cavern here. Jet Sphere!
after you get that Aeon from Besaid. Where are we going? Back the way we came. Then we go north from Bavel and climb Mount Gagazet. Beyond it lies Sanarkand. Sanarkand, huh? It's been in ruins for a thousand years, right? So the legends say. No one knows for sure. It still could be your Xanarkand. Thanks for trying, Orin. <sighs> I thought if I went with you guys, I might find a way to go back. But it's not that easy. I'm sorry. No need to apologize, Broska. It's not your fault. I should be thinking about fighting Sin now anyway. Xanarkin can wait. But I will find my way back. Be careful, Jekt. Hey, I'll be all right. You're the one that should be careful. Wouldn't want your little girl to cry. She'll be all right. She's strong. Like her mother was. All right. I think there's enough time to show off one more jet sphere. As soon as we, uh, land a coast. Dock. Yeah, dock. Now, if we try to come down here, this chick will be like, Yeah, do you want to rest? Yes, I do. Alright. And now that we're here, I want to check one thing in here. I know that there was an Albed Primer that I missed here. Yeah, it should be on the table, but it's not. Oh well. Maybe I did get it. It was a different one than I thought. I know I missed one on that ship too. We're gonna board the airship. Or we can walk to the airship right there. But I'd rather just... Yeah. Alright. Let me see here. Where are the easiest ones to get to? List. The next easiest one to get to would be... The moon flow. Here we go. I might as well show off all the jet spheres real quick. I won't be able to show all of them off, but I'm hitting a good majority of them. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Jet sphere. Take a look. enough time to show off a few more things and then uh that'll be it there's two more things i want to show off i want to show how i did the lightning dancer because it's pretty challenging and hard to do so i'll show that off and i'll show off one more jet sphere list we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to guadalcanal it's closer to 
to both the things I want to show you. So you could go to the Thunder Plains, but it'll take you to the other side of the Thunder Plains that I want to go to. So this is actually closer. I believe I want to go down. Now this place is kind of confusing. All right. Yeah, there's the jet sphere off in the distance. And there's a bolt of lightning. Now, for the bolt of lightnings, um, I had a hard time, a really hard time just dodging them. So I had to look something up. Apparently in the HD version for this game, there's some kind of lag in between what happens on the screen and the controller or something. To where it makes it even harder to dodge a lightning bolt than it should be. So the only other way to do this is to force a lightning bolt. So if you come up to this crater and hit X, whoa, it didn't work. Uh, if you go like that, there we go. See this white, this kind of like white part right here? As soon as you get up to it, press X. And you're guaranteed to dodge lightning bolt. Now you want to go back to about where the gray is right here, where this pole is. And then go back forward, and bam. You dodge another lightning bolt. So you just go back, forward, bam. And you just rinse and repeat. And, uh... On average, if you do this, you'll dodge a lightning bolt about every six seconds or so. It's actually a little bit less than that. So if you do that and start a stopwatch, uh, which is what I did, I did this method. Uh, time it for, uh, I timed mine for 20 minutes just to be safe. If you can go just 20 minutes in a row without getting hit, you'll have uh, the sigil and you would have dodged more than 200 lightning bolts. Why am I doing this? What do you see there, my lord? Oh, I was just... thinking. This is important! No fooling around! You're gonna spoil it! Whoa! Are you alright? Now there's a scene for posterity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good old Jack got struck by lightning like a bitch. Yeah, so I think that's all I wanted to show off. Um, I pretty much went over everything that I can think of. There's a few other stuff I need to go over, but there's just not enough time in an hour session. So next time around, we'll be taking on more of the Dark Aeons. There's one Dark Aeon I'm just not ready to fight yet. Otherwise, I would take him on. It's really the only Dark Aeon I need to grind for. Um, I'm trying to see if this book keeps records of how many... You... Oh, so it just gives you your high score. It doesn't tell you what you currently are at. Oh! Huge side note. When it says to dodge 200 lightning bolts in a row... If you leave the area or even touch a save sphere, you have to you reset that. You cannot save your game. If you save your game, it goes back to zero. Huge side note. I did not know this myself and I was saving and I couldn't understand why I wasn't adding up. That's why, because I kept leaving the area or saving. So on a side note, do not do that. You have to do all 200 in a row. It really sucks, I know, but it's possible. If I can do it, I get ADD and I'm colorblind for God's sake. You have, you can pause, you can do this, and just take a break if needed. Uh, and actually you want to pause because if you just stand there, a random lightning bolt couldn't come down and hit you. So, quick, just, I know it's hard to do, but it's possible. If I can do it, I'm a fucking moron. So, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Thank you guys for watching. When we come back next time, we're going to take on some more Dark Aeons. Maybe even get all the Elbed Primers. I got to see if what I want to do will work. And, uh, Dark Aeons, Albed Primer, we'll hit those treasure chests in the Omega Cave. I'm trying to think of what else we can do. We're really coming down on what we can't do anymore. We still have to fight Nemesis, which I also have to collect a bunch of monsters and grind for. That's a pain in the ass. Nemesis isn't too hard. He's not as hard as Penance is. 
Um, let's see. I think that's it. I I did take a week long break, so I have to go edit and do a bunch of shit now. And yeah, everything's just gonna be a pain in the ass now. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.